Greetings! It is I, Sniperman1109, and today we're back with another episode of Project Zomboid Wilderness Survival. Last episode, we built a farm, we expanded our walls, and we found Craig, our man. Our newest, one of the newest survivors we found, and to, in today's episode, we're going to be heading out into town. We're going to be heading out into town, trying to find more resources that we can use. Like, hopefully, uh, carpentry, you know, you know me, I'm on the look for that carpentry. I'm on the look for the carpentry for beginners, whatever we can find, and I'm actually going to take a look. We're going to go ahead and get geared up here. And, uh, Samuel tells Craig, I'm heading into town. I'm going to be looking for some supplies, hopefully to help me get a better understanding of, on how to further increase my carpentry skill. And hopefully we can find some nails and stuff like that. Because I actually want to head into town so we can build like an actual house house instead of a tent. So I can build better walls and stuff like that. And it will boost how much carpentry skill we'll get. And I actually, we don't have books at all. We are bookless. Literature-less, if, if you will. And our backpack is full of junk. Look at all this stuff here. We're going to get our pipe out. And we're going to head into town try to find some good loot and who knows maybe possibly another survivor all right guys we're outside the police station and i've met and there's a lot of zombies out front i don't know if i don't know if we're gonna be able to get in here or not i know i just killed a yeah okay crap i killed one of the zombies and they got a holster so we're gonna take a couple of those holsters actually we're gonna go with both. Right. We'll take both holsters, because why not? These new zombie sounds. Oh my god! These new zombie sounds are getting me. Or, oh my god. The updated sounds are getting me. Alright, we're making a lot of noise here. Hopefully we can kill a zombie that has a key. Then we'll be in business. Unlock? Unlock. Okay. That's a gun. Alright, we're gonna come back out here. Make sure our exit's not getting blocked. Okay, it's not. That looks like office personnel. Yeah, yeah, come over here. Come over here. And kind of kill some of these zombies around here. And I, it technically... Man, she don't have keys. It's fine. She's got gloves, though. I like those gloves. Thanks. I mean, it wasn't a complete waste. Alright. We're going in. I don't like that. Do you hear that? Oh, hell. There's so many in here. I can hear them. I don't like this. We killed one. Got a key, pal? Of course not. Look at how many are in there. There's a lot. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. That door's probably open. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. They're gonna get through that any minute. Let's, let's just... Open it! Ah, oh, I missed. I missed. Let's say. Yeah, no, they're gonna break through it. Alright, that's what I want. I want them to break through it, and then we're gonna leave them out. Yeah, come on. There's a lot. Alright. They didn't see where we went. They didn't see... They, they, they don't know where we went. We could have ran that way for all they know. So I could actually go into that door and then lock them outside. But it probably won't work. Alright, let's let's get a look. Okay, we got one. One's after us so far. Two. She's down. But she's not dead. She's just down. Lady, stay down. Don't join the party yet. Too late. Okay, she's down. Great. Alright, 
She's dead. And he's dead. Do a circle. Alright, we're moving in. Couple, a couple are stuck. In here, it sounds like. I hear more. Alright, that one's stuck on my door down there. Let's Hurley kill this guy. Hurley. He's dead. Let's go ahead and shut this. We're gonna go out here and search these bodies before anything. Because they could have keys. They could have keys. Gloves. I'll take those. Not bad. I like all these gloves we're finding. So far, I'm not I'm not finding any office personnel, but I, that door's moving. There's another one in there. So far, this place is looking pretty void. I think this is the key. Yes, we found a key on a zombie, dude. We're fucking in. Okay. Oh man, look at that. Okay, all right. So we found some armor. That's a nice. It's like a bomb bomb armor thing we look freaking fantastic hopefully we can find some more like maybe some riot gear in here or something gun case all right let's just grab all the ammo that we can so i mean this isn't really riot kevlar gloves swat jacket all right it's better than what we got we're wearing it knee pads we'll wear those we're gonna look pretty tactical we're gonna look pretty freaking Kev Kevlar gloves. Wear those. Dude, we're gonna look amazing. Alright. Now, at this police station, there's another gun there. We'll take it. SWAT elbow pads. Okay, we. Oh, we're, our freaking backpack's already full. It's already full. SWAT protection goggles. We'll wear those. I mean, it's not really. Oh. Strapless holster. We'll wear that. So this place really doesn't have too much to offer. Because it's kind of a smaller police station. But we're, you know, I think this is where the major stuff that we're going to find is. It was right here. So we basically have already found everything here. Alright. We basically got all that the, really this police station has to offer. I don't really have the room to carry very much more anyway. So we're looking pretty badass right now. We're already we're already feeling more protect protected. I mean, yeah, look at us. At least on the torso, we're not doing bad. We're doing pretty good. Obviously, Jesus, P. Look at all these dang zombies. Why are there so many over there? Okay. That'll honestly probably do. T for, oh my God, our our way I came is freaking blocked. It's honestly gonna do for today most likely both ways are freaking trapped see you know I gotta you gotta love how this game traps you it moves the freaking zombies around the map and make it that makes it trap you all right so here's what I'm gonna do we've, we've basically looted as much as we can today because our backpacks freaking full this is why we could really use a vehicle all right granted there's got to be some that are gonna spot us I know I know it I know it. Okay, they've all spotted us. We've been spotted. We've been spotted. Let's just not add those to the fray. Let's just try and... Try and stealth... Okay, they've seen us. They're coming. Man, my luck's not good. My luck is horrible. I mean, I, I wish I would have grabbed that shotgun. But not really, because then I would have made a bunch of noise with it. And then... Okay, all right, we're gonna have to lose these guys. All right, guys, we're back home. We lost the zombies, and we, and uh, Samia walks in with a bag full of gun stuff, and it's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's, it's not exactly the stuff that I wanted today, but I mean it's not bad. It's not bad at all. We got new armor and stuff like that. So I mean I really can't complain. We found a lot of good stuff. I kind of wish there was more. Like, I think we should wear this. It's going to look stupid, probably. Yeah, we look so freaking dumb. But it will protect us. 100%. So that's from scratch and bite. We're going to look really freaking stupid. 
but you know what? No, I can't. I can't. I don't even care if we have a chance of getting bit on our head. Without the rest of the suit, it looks so dumb. I can't do it. But yeah, tomorrow we're going to actually try and find literature and stuff like that. All right. Day two. Let's go. Hopefully we can find some uh, more stuff and not get ambushed like we did yesterday. All right, guys. I've been on a zombie killing rampage. We're over here uh, past the bar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, is that zombie wearing a bag? Uh, too far away. Can't tell. I think they are. We're over here in the trailer park, and this looks like a survivor house. Really useful. Unbarricade. Oh, we have a hammer with us. Okay, I want to unbarricade that window. Oh. We got zombies in that room. Okay. How can I unbarricade? So how can I pry nails with a stone hammer you might ask good question i have no idea either doors locked of course we're going to be searching this trailer park it's a nice little neighborhood hopefully we can find some people like a carpentry house or something please don't have an alarm okay all right come on lady you should have stayed you should have minded your own business we're taking that bandana. Taking it for our own. A jackknife? Why not? Let's take it. An extra knife around camp wouldn't hurt anything. Samuel thinks to himself. Alright, we got a couple can openers. A rolling pin. Saucepan. We'll take that for collecting water. Very useful. And cooking things as well. Along with a roasting pan. Because Samuel realizes that most likely his permanent home... We'll be out in the wilderness, and you might as well take stuff out there that we can use to our advantage. Got some zombies coming. This lady just... Oh, my God. Hey, weren't you a ground zombie? You were a ground zombie. All right, let me just whip out my pipe. It's a lot better than what we were using. All right, he's, she's on the ground temporarily. Okay, let's just stand on her and fight. Dead. Dead. Do the circle. Making sure we didn't attract any other zombies with all the noise we were making. Alright, that kitchen knife would be perfect for a spear. If I could find it. There it is. Alright, I mean, the survivor house is right here. We might as well loot it. It'd be great for food and possibly other supplies. That door's broken. I would. Can I kill the zombie thing? Thank God I can. Alright. Let me go ahead and remove the broken glass. And before we jump in, are there any zombies out here in the main living area? I'm not seeing any. We're going in. Actually, we're going to check this bedroom first. Because if that door breaks down, there's no way out besides the window we came in. Oh, there's two. They're coming in. Yeah, come on in, guys. Yeah, come over here. There, now he's stuck on that window. This one. That one's stuck on that window. They were twins. Oh, my God. That other zombie that came out, they were like twins. Twin brothers. Okay, great. I'm going to take these doorknobs and stuff while I'm here because we're going to eventually make gates. So I might as well take them. All right. Look at all this stuff. Nothing really of interest. But here is where hopefully it'll get better. Uh, this is this should be a survivor house, right? It's boarded up, you know, all the survive it has all the survivor house qualities. But it doesn't look very survivory. Oh, here we go. More gun stuff. A magnum. See, we're gonna get we're already full up again. Oh my god, we're already full up again. Great. I mean, honestly, we know where this place is. We could just use this as, a, as like a away from home base location, honestly. So yeah, I mean, we could do that. Let me go ahead and just unbarricade this front door. Alright, we're just going to unbarricade the front door. This is going to be technically our, like our home away from home safe house. So we're going to go take the planks that we took off that front door... And we're going to slap them on this window here. We should be able to. I 
guess not. Do we do we not give the nails back or something? Two planks, but no nails. You figure you get the nails back too? I guess not. That really freaking sucks. We'll have to use our own nails. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even wasting my time. Drop those. We don't even need them. Could have a bunch of crap in it. Only smart people would come up and search it. And this neighborhood is crawling with the infected. I would search it, but look at that. So we're actually just going to move further in, inward, and see what the town has to offer us. Look at all these freaking houses here, and I don't see a zombie. Wait. Jaren? We got a survivor over here. Or Jason. Jason. Yo. Jason. A house alarm? What? Oh my god. Invite the group. Got it. Yeah, come on. You have no choice. I hear a house alarm. Well, it's way off in the distance. Did he start that? Because I don't see any zombies. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, they're going to be coming this way soon because of Jason. He's kind of wasted our time. I'm not seeing... Okay, alright. Yeah, they're going. We might as well leave. He kind of ruined our looting trip. Yeah, look at this. We got zombies coming at us from every angle now. I mean, at least it's taking them this way, which is really good. Because then that'll free up uh, this neighborhood over here. But, of course, all these other houses now are going to be packed with them. Alright, so as I predicted, it looks like the neighborhood has kind of cleared itself out a little. I see a couple zombies here. Jason's with us. I don't, I really don't want to risk Jason dying. Because he might already be hurt. Let me check him out. I haven't even checked him yet. Let's go to medical check. Jason, how are you? Are you hurt? He's okay. For now. He's okay for now. Do we have a jacket on us that we can at least give him? As a freaking armor? No, we don't. We don't have like We have a pink hoodie, Jason. Do you want a pink hoodie, Jason? No, you can't have it. Too bad. I really want his help. I think he might be able to handle... Is that zombie wearing a blue wig? It's a blue wig. He might be able to handle... Yeah, a couple zombies. Yeah, she's wearing a wig. He might be able to handle a few. But if we get into a big altercation, we're probably going to lose him. Hopefully not. Hopefully Jason can prove his worth by helping us take down some of these zombies. Good job, Jason. You stabbed the air. Congratulations, my man. Okay, let's see here. This house looks pretty clear, right? It don't look terrible. Look at the rest of this neighborhood. Yeah, that freaking alarm cleared it out. That's great. Alright, let's just hope one of these don't have an alarm. Bring them right back. Okay. It's good so far. Come on in, Jason. What was that? Trapping for intermediates? We're definitely going to be... We're going to be... Farming for Beginners? That's a damn good book. I thought someone was breaking down the door. I crapped myself a little. Not going to lie. More guns. More gun stuff. That's freaking fantastic. Although we really don't have... There's a zombie coming. Jason, leave the zombie alone. Fishing for Beginners. We're not really going to be using that anytime soon. Trapping for intermediates. We'll take that. Okay. Jason, kill it. Jason, you just stood there and let it claw you. Why? He would have said something, probably. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Okay. You know what? We're actually going to take that revolver. If Jason would get the hell out of the way. Okay, I guess not. We have no time. Let's search the rest of this house. Is he outside? He climbed out of the freaking... Okay, he's so dumb. He climbed out of the window with his bare hands, got scratched, and then he just bandaged himself. Why did you even climb out in the first place? There was no point. Is anyone there? Any zombies in here? I know there's one over here sitting next to this house. You there. Yes. Come. There's a jacket. There's some armor for him right there. There's some armor for him. Come on, lady. Come get what you have coming to you. At least Jason's not a coward, and he actually helps. Because some of these NPCs... Okay, that jacket's in really bad shape. I will take that lighter. We're going to need that. 
Because some NPCs are really freaking cowardly, and they won't help you even if their life depends on it. They'll just run. And doom everybody. Why is there a random bleach just sitting on the floor? That's strange. Have we been in here before? I don't remember if we have. We probably have. I just don't remember. Yeah, I, we may have been in here. There's a frying pan. We have one already. I'll take this and the vinegar. Vinegar is really useful for those of you new PZ players. If you're watching me and you haven't really watched anybody else, no one's explained it to you yet. Vinegar is really useful for uh, preserving food and stuff like that. So vinegar, sugar, and then get you a jar with jar lid. You can actually uh, tan like your vegetables and then you can cook them over a fire to preserve them. So yeah, little tip in case you guys didn't know about food. Okay. Come on out of there. He looks like Jason. Jason, that looks like you. Let's, hopefully, let's hope he doesn't eventually become that way, though. Let's hope he stays alive for the rest of this little loot party. Jar with lid. Perfect. Box of MREs. Oh, my God. That's a good find. We can't put it in the backpack. Jason, make yourself useful. All right. We're going to... We're going to control him somehow. Like this. We're going to make him carry it. Now, Jason. Debug character swap. Whatever you do, don't eat those MREs. So we found a box of MREs and... Oh, oh soap. And some foundation makeup. Eve, might as well take it. Because maybe, who knows, we might find a female survivor who likes doing her makeup or whatever. And she might enjoy it. Who knows? Alright. Look at all this food. This is amazing. So, we're doing really good on food and there's some sugar. Oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? Okay, that's not bad. Let's go ahead. You see, it's limited. Let's go ahead and fill one of our water bottles. Because it says we're thirsty. Okay, we're not thirsty anymore. Let's just go ahead and fill up some of our empty ones here. And that put us over the edge. Dang it! We just don't have enough... I, we need a vehicle. I know it'll look odd parking it right outside the woods. But it's better than this. Okay. Alright, I think we've had a pretty successful day of looting. I'd actually like to have... Um, now that we have two, two more pairs of hands, I would like What's-His-Face over there. To carry this plastic bag of all of our ammo and stuff back to the base. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to have him carry that. Samuel tells Jason about the this garbage bag and what it holds in it. And he asks Jason if he could to help him carry it back to the base. And we forgot to grab these doorknobs and stuff like that. But I mean, they're not really going anywhere. Alright. Character swap. Equip secondary. Please, whatever you do, do not die. I almost murdered us. That that would have killed us right there and the playthrough would have been over. Oh my god, that was... I gotta be more careful. That was freaking close. Okay, we're headed back to the base. I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright guys, we finally made it back. Jason actually survived the trek. There he is. Our boy Jason. Still alive. Still breathing. He's, not, he, however, not unscathed, because, <laughs> good to be back, okay. Oh, Craig, yes. Hello, Craig, welcome. Welcome, Jason, our new member. Yeah, yeah, foraging, what are you, okay, man, he's, he's a busybody, he's ready, getting right to work. Okay, well, anyway, Jason, what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to have you stand ground. It's right in front of me, right here. Stand ground, come over here. After you get done foraging or doing whatever you want to do. I think today was actually pretty successful. We found a bunch of gun ammunition. We found some armor. We didn't get to find very much literature. Literature. We found a little bit. Uh, we didn't find as much as I would like or the type of literature that I was wanting. I mean, we got farming for beginners, so that actually was not bad. I'm actually going to read this off screen so we can get a farming buff. So we can go over there and harvest a bunch of our crops. And I figured out what was causing the bug. Uh, Hydrocraft was causing the bug last time where we couldn't plant. But now I figured out 
uh, how to fix that bug by downloading another mod that fixes that bug. But anyway, guys... Next episode, we're going to be looking for carpentry stuff. Yes, we're doing that again. I want carpentry stuff. And uh, actually, we're just going to go ahead and sleep tomorrow or till tomorrow, and then I will end the episode. Anyway, guys, it's morning time now. Like I said, next episode, we're going to be finding carpentry stuff and things like that to, so we can actually build up our base, and it'll make our carpentry go up a lot faster. Because carpentry, I believe, is probably one of the most important skills in the game, alongside metalworking and stuff like that. Farming and is obviously important. But, like I said, we just really need to find some carpentry books so we can build the cool things we want to build, like watchtowers, a house so we don't have to sleep in a freaking tent. These guys don't have to stand out in the wind and the rain and just deal with it and all that stuff. Like I said, I have some big plans. I'm going to chop down, like make a road. So we can drive cars in and out of here. It's going to be freaking fantastic. And I'm going to use these guys to do all the backbreaking labor. And they're going to just chop a road for us. So we can drive our cars down back and forth. But that's going to be, that's, that's future talk. Let's even if we survive long enough to do that. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please snipe that like button and subscribe for more. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can see when I post more videos like this. If you would like to support my my journey to be a full-time YouTuber, please head on down to the description, click my Ko-Fi link, and donate to me over there. It would be very much appreciated, and it would help me have more time to make content like this for you. And if you would like to chat with me and others who support the channel, please head on down to the description, click my Discord link, and come join us over there and chat with us sometime. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Peace!